take down heading as finding value attribute of an element finding value attribute of an element finding value attribute of an element first I need to open the browser I need to open the browser then I need to open the URL called krninformatics.com slash sample.html after opening the browser and the URL called krninformatics.com slash sample.html I need to identify this Google link I need to identify this Google link for this Google link I need to identify this href attribute value I need to identify the href attribute value of this Google link and I want to print that in the console output. You might ask a question, sir, why I have to get this href attribute value? Why? Because when I click on this Google link, whether it is redirecting to google.com or some other page, if I want to know that whether it is redirecting to google.com or some other page, in that case, In that case, what to do? That is what we are going to see here. Now, I need to identify this Google link and identify the href attribute value of this Google link. Okay, sometimes you might need to get the class attribute also. First, as of now, we will do this. Open the browser, open the URL and get the href attribute value. That is what we are going to see now. Later on, I will tell you where we will apply this. Class demo attribute. In finish. Next, first let me open the browser and URL. Web driver. driver driver equal to new firefox driver then driver dot manage dot window dot maximize driver dot get then open the url then driver dot manage dot timeouts dot implicitly wait 30 time unit dot seconds seconds then I need to identify this if I want to identify this I can use xpath double forward slash a text function is equal to driver dot find element by dot xpath dot get attribute what does this get attribute method takes it takes a string and it returns a string it takes a string href and it returns a string hold that in a string variable attribute value get attribute method identify that element identify that element and use the method get attribute because I need to get the attribute value of this element this get attribute method this get attribute this get attribute method it takes a string and it returns a string right that's why I have passed a string and it returns a string the value of that system.out.println attribute value let me run this open the browser open the url and get the href attribute value. Now I have got the href attribute value of the table. And that's it. This is all about how to get the href attribute value of that particular element. Now, not only href attribute value, I can get the class attribute value. What is the class attribute value? Class attribute value is my class. If I give class here, then what it will print if I run this? my class I can get any attribute value of any element I can get any attribute value of any element open the browser open the URL and it has printed as my class this is how to get the attribute value of any element sir in which cases we will use that that we will see in the upcoming chapter first as of now we have to try to 
learn this logic then the application I will explain you next where we will apply this finding value attribute of an element we can use driver dot find element to find the element and use the method get attribute and pass the attribute name as an argument which will return the value of the attribute take down this then you can take down the program as well on this program completed this everyone yes next take down next who is telling no have you completed or not okay take it take it take it
take them next heading as pop ups pop ups see in interviews if they ask you how many pop ups are there don't exactly tell that there are seven kinds of pop ups are there because there is no exact definition that these many number of pop ups are there nothing like that okay developers can develop their own pop ups and they can start working on that that's why don't exactly tell that there are seven kinds of pop ups are there you can tell that throughout my experience i've came up with some five to six different kinds of pop ups and you can answer all this i'll just list out all those pop ups we'll see one by one it will take three to four four days to learn this uh, pop ups <laughs> today we will see one or two daily we will cover one each one or two and in another three to four days we will cover all pop ups first tool tip pop up tool tip pop up second calendar pop up third javascript alert comma confirmation and prompt pop up javascript alert confirmation and prompt pop up page on load authentication pop up that is fourth one fifth file upload pop up sixth file download pop up seventh file upload pop up file download pop up new tab slash new window slash new browser slash light box or model window Just to download confirmation on prompt pop up page on load authentication pop up file upload pop up file download pop up new tab new window new browser or light box or model window pop up take of this first we will talk about the tool tip first we are going to discuss about tool tip take down this pop ups and below that take down heading as tool tip see when it comes to the have you finished this taking down this all the pop ups yeah below that take down heading as tool tip let us see about tool tip see when it comes to the point of tool tip tool tips are of two types Two, there are two kinds of tool tips again one a and one b we have two topics in this one is let me go to gsmarena.com under this gsmarena.com when you click on the samsung here you will be having samsung when you click on the samsung it will redirect to this page see when i mouse over on this tool when i mouse over on this image i am getting when i mouse over on this image i am i am getting this tool tip this is samsung galaxy M32 5G Android smartphone announced August 2021 this is the tool tip of that particular image this is the tool tip of that particular image but if i want to get the text i cannot do right click and inspect i am unable to do that but how to get the tool tip this is one kind of tool tip the another kind of tool tip is let me go to flipkart.com let me go to flipkart.com and go to any product item page let me go to any product item page here i have an option called delivery somewhere here when i click on this question mark a pop up appears here i can right click inspect here i can do right click and inspect whereas in the first way you cannot do right click and inspect first let us see the first pop first kind of tool tip 
what is the tool tip of this image guys what is the tool tip of this image samsung galaxy m32 5g android smartphone xyz something xyz xyz is there right now right click inspect this element now what is the what is the title attribute value of this element only samsung galaxy 5g and the same thing which is displayed as a tool tip right almost not everything compare it and see is it same or not yes see if developer want to display any tool tip of any image he will put that in the title attribute so that that will be displayed as a tool tip that is the developer's agenda have you understood how developers develops the tool tip now you know how to get the title attribute value right just before 5 minutes we have saw how to get attribute value of any element now if you get this title attribute value then of course you have got the tool tip that is how to get the tool tip of any image can we do that now now open the browser open this url open the browser open this url identify this element and use dot get attribute and pass the title attribute it will return the attribute value of that particular element click <coughs> new class demo tool tip <coughs> public static void main web driver driver equal to new firefox driver then driver dot manage dot window dot maximize driver dot get and open the url driver dot manage dot timeouts dot implicitly wait 30 time unit dot seconds time unit dot seconds now I need to identify this element if I want to identify this element I have to use xpath I have to use xpath let me write the xpath here for this double forward slash img contains at the rate src comma m32 driver dot find element by dot x path dot get attribute what does this get attribute method takes it takes a string and it returns a string what is the string name what I have to pass here what is the string name I have to pass title and this returns a string hold that in a string that is nothing but tool tip is equal System.out.println tooltip. Then if I run this, it will get the tooltip of that particular image. This is how to get the tooltip of that particular image. It's still loading. Let it load completely. Yes, it has loaded. Now it has got the tooltip. This is the tooltip of that particular image. Done. the tool tip of that particular image <coughs> this is how to get the tool tip of that particular image
is how to get the tool tip done this is one kind of tool tip there are two kinds of tool tips one which is generated from the title attribute if the tool tip is generated from the title attribute you can use driver dot find element and use dot get attribute if the tool tip is coming from the div pop up then identify this div right click inspect identify that uh, appropriate xpath of that particular div and use dot get text you will be able to get this this is your homework what you want to do open any product item page open any product item page then in the delivery delivery section there is a question mark click on that identify this question mark and click on this identify this and get the text of that that's it this is what we have to do no specific name both are called as tool tips only yes no only title only title only title yes standard yes yes okay now let us give some notes for this okay how to handle tool tips tool tips are of two types generated using title attribute has a pop up in the html division if the tool tip is coming from the title attribute we can find the element and use get attribute to get the tool tip text if the tool tip is coming from the div pop up we can find the div using driver dot find element and use get text to get the text from the division take down this Next, we'll see the another pop-up cal calendar pop-up also will cover. First two pop-ups are very easy. The third pop-up onwards, actual problem starts. We are unable to identify the elements there. Without identifying elements, we have to perform action. First two are very easy.
we completed this everyone then take down the program Okay, have you completed everyone? Yes or no? Yes, okay. Take down next heading is calendar pop up. Calendar pop up. See, again, in calendar also, there are two kinds of calendar fields. For example, when I go to irctc.co.in, for example, if I go to irctc.co.in, in this irctc.co.in allows you to type the date use driver dot find element and send keys if the calendar fields allows you to type the date 
you can use driver dot find element and send keys this is quite easy for everyone to do it right yes or no yeah there is no much challenge in this that's why i'm going to oh, not do anything with this the other kind of pop up is when i try to type something it will not allow me to type you have to select the date from the calendar pop up this is also quite easy identify this element click on this then identify this element and click on this so that you will be able to click but just let let me do at least one this one i need to open the browser open this redbus.in identify this uh, calendar icon click on this and then identify this date and select the date from the calendar pop up this is what we are going to see okay next let me go with this right click go to new go to class demo calendar public static void main finish web driver driver equal to new firefox driver then driver dot manage dot maximize get and open the url open the url then driver dot manage dot timeouts dot implicitly wait 30 time unit dot seconds <coughs> timeouts dot 30 time units dot seconds identify this and click on this right click inspect Path format. First, let me click on the driver dot find element by dot x path dot click. Yes, I have clicked on it. <coughs> After clicking on that, after clicking on this, then I need to select the date identify any one of the date and click on the date right click inspect double forward slash td text function is equal to yes that's the export driver dot find element by dot x path dot it will open the browser open the url and cli uh, click on this date and select the date yes it has selected see sometimes what happens if there is from date and to date right when you identify this element it will show two matching nodes you should be careful enough in identifying the elements you have to know how to write an appropriate x path and how to work with that particular appropriate x path that's why, as I said, going further, I will teach you that XPath concepts also. There might be a duplicate element. Selenium cannot, there will be one hidden element. Selenium cannot identify the hidden elements or perform action on the hidden elements. Right? Then, next. Generally, there are two kinds of calendar fields. One, which allows you to type the date, which allows you to select the date from the calendar pop-up. If the calendar of uh, allows you to type the date use driver dot find element and send keys if it is a pop-up then click on the calendar icon to make the calendar icon visible use an export to find the date and click on the date calendar pop-up will generally be in table structure web driver cannot identify the hidden elements or perform action on the hidden elements 
take the, take down this then you can take down the program as well Have you completed this guys? Yes. Then take down this program. 